This is a video on how to solve leak code 238, product of array except self. Before I start coding, I kind of wanted to take a deeper dive into the concept behind this question. I'm going to start out with the nums array that we've been given. And I'm also going to create another array called prots from left. And I'm going to put a 1 in that array to start out. This array will store a running product from left to right for the elements and nums. To get the next number in prods from left, I will multiply the corresponding numbers at the zero indices in nums and prods from left. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. I will skip the last value 4 because props from left now already has the same number of values as nums. I'm going to write nums out again just for reference. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have the props from right array. And we're going to go from the end of nums to the beginning. So we're going to drop a 1 at the end and then work our way backwards using the same process that we used from for prods from left. Just backwards. The answer is the element-wise multiplication of the prods from left array and the prods from right array. We can further optimize the solution by updating the values and prods from left in place. I'm going to start out with the prods from left as it initially was and then modify it from there. And just so we're absolutely clear, I'm going to draw an indicator from right to left to indicate that we are working backwards. Next, I'm going to initialize a variable called latest prod from right to store the latest product, the cumulative product from the right hand as we move left. Just keep in mind that this is a variable storing a single number, not an array. I will initialize that to one. Next, I'm going to keep track of the state of the prods from left array after an iteration has been done. So working away from last to first, we have 6 times 1, which is 6. So we update the last value of the prods from left array to 6. Now we need to update latest prod from right. Now if you remember from an unoptimized example, we were multiplying the number in prods from right by the corresponding value at the same index in nums. Here I've just rewritten the nums array for easy reference. I'm going to write another line here to keep track of the variable latest prod from right after it's been updated during the same iteration. Remember we're still at index 3 and the latest prod from right is currently 1. 
So what we need to do is multiply 1 by the value in the nums array at the same index, which is 4. 1 times 4 is 4. So now the latest prod from right after is 4. At the beginning of the next iteration, that 4 then becomes the latest prod from right in the before state for, the, for that iteration. We can repeat the same process as we go from the last index to the zeroth index in the prods from left array. This pros from left in the after state is our final answer. So now it becomes easy to write out the code version of what we just did. So now the programmatic solution has become a lot more clearer, and let's head back to the code. We're just going to append the product of the last number in the pros from left to right so far times nums at, at that index. The second part is just what I showed before. we update pros from left in place. And then we update latest prod from right. Lastly, we just return prods from left, since that was the one we modified in place. Let's run it. Case 1 and case 2 both pass. Let's submit. and it's accepted. So that was Lee Code Question 238. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. See you in the next one.